Uh, last time I had an audience this size was way back at the beginning of my career as a bingo hall caller. So uh, if I slip into seven and six, was she worth it? I'm sorry. So uh, what, what does geolytics do? Why am I here? Uh, when asked in a pub, uh, the answer is we help retailers decide where to open new stores. Slightly more formally, uh, we optimise the final contact in distributive trades in an omni-channel world, which sounds like I've eaten a consultant. So we'll, we'll stick with we help people. I'm not going to read them out, but you can see the sorts of people we work for. We help them figure out where to spend billions of pounds opening new stores. Uh, key principle of any business that was taught to me very young and uh, I've tried to stick to is wh whatever you do, try and be the best in the world at it. Now, when I set Geolytics up, it was just me for 10 months, so trying to be the best in the world when there's only one of you is kind of hard. So you have to slice what it is you do very small. So I aimed, my little dream, to be the best set of UK retail spatial data analysts and modelers. So you keep it as small as you possibly can. And, and as part of that, we use vast amounts of open data, all of the usual stuff you'd expect. And we publish our own open data as well. I think it's terribly important that those of us who exploit open data do give back in, in some way we can. Along the way, um, I'm always uncomfortable with the term data scientist. I think it slightly is a bit pretentious. It's slightly, um, slightly self-aggrandizing. I, I, I think we're more data sherpas. We, we help businesses through a, a complex world of open and closed data. Along the way, uh, we're very lucky to have been recognized, uh, won seven awards so far, including the, uh, the very first uh, ODI Business Award, which was very nice. And then probably the one that's most relevant, just last month, the very last one on the end, we won the, uh, the Demographic User Group Annual Award. And I think why that's interesting is that that award has been made for 15 years, and it was the very first time it was awarded to a business. Someone in the, in the business of making money and making profits out of open data, uh, and there is an, there's a nice circularity to it. The previous winners of the Doug Award include Francis Maud, predecessor of our next speaker, Sir Tim Berners-Lee and Sir Nigel Shadbolt, uh, the ONS, the DWP, loads of massive organisations. So it's kind of cool that a scrappy little 10-person company won it. So where are we now? Three and a bit years on. Depending on a phone call I'm expecting in a couple of hours, we'll either do slightly less or slightly more than a million pounds this year. Uh, nice and profitable. And one of the main reasons I'm here is we're hiring. So if, <laughs> if there's a couple of data modelers, Sherpas, unicorns, scientists, you can pick your own job title. Um, you want to work in King's Cross Clerkenwell with you know, some great people, come and talk to me over coffee. And because of our clients, it would also help if you like shopping and eating out. So where do we go now, the big dream? I, I've kind of, we haven't fulfilled the little dream, but we're, on a, we're, we're, we're a long way. But there is a bigger dream out there. And, and we're lucky, we, we, I can't remember who it was, he said to be born an Englishman is the greatest luck in the world. But it, it's similar to that for businesses. Geolytics was born in London, and we are immensely privileged to work at the epicenter of the open data world. So. We've just finished our very first major global project. Interestingly, for one of the massive Silicon Valley giants. One of the, they're not, I'm not allowed to say who they are because they're incredibly shy. Um, but we've just done seven countries in Europe. They showed it to the Americans. They loved it. So hopefully we might get that gig as well. And the, the other area that is a big dream is, as people have said already, Commercial companies are going to start publishing open data. They're very scared of doing it at the moment. But we hope, as they already are our clients, and we know a lot about data, we can help them navigate that journey 
through open data. So thank you very much. <laughs>